Hey guys, so this week I've been playing Connect Star Wars for the Xbox 360, obviously, because you need one of these little guys, these little Connect things down here uh, to play it, so you can waggle your arms around and it can go, hey, your arms are waggling, and then something translates on the screen. So anyways, is this game any good? If you're a Star Wars fan, are you going to pick this up and go, yes, finally? Or are you going to pick this up and go, why? Why? Well, here's my opinion of Star Wars Connect. If you're like most males from 18 to 25, you watched a lot of Star Wars as a kid, and you've always wanted to be a Jedi. You wanted to wield a lightsaber, force push things away, all that stuff. And Kinect Star Wars promises to fulfill all of your lightsaber dueling, force pushing fantasies. Using the Kinect hardware, you are the Jedi. You're the one swinging the lightsaber, you're the one doing the force pushes, you're the one doing all the actions that you've always wanted to do. And if you ignore the fact that this is a game where you stand in front of your TV and flail your arms around and make an ass of yourself, it actually does that. Unlike a lot of Kinect games, this isn't just a collection of random mini games, there actually is a single player campaign to it. In the Jedi Destiny mode, you play as a young Padawan in, uh, I think somewhere around, uh, Revenge of the Sith, but I can't be entirely sure. Uh, you know, getting your training on when you're sitting on Kashyyyk, for some reason, because I guess that's where Jedis go to train, and, uh, oh no, you're attacked by a bunch of robots, and then you gotta destroy them. In typical Star Wars fashion, you fight through all the enemies, you go through some awesome lightsaber battles, and then you, you know, do some deflecting of things and blowing stuff up, and then you get on your ship and escape, and then you do some space battles, and all that kind of stuff and it, it's fairly well paced and and it kind of follows the traditional sort of tropes that you would expect in a Star Wars story. Apart from Jedi Destiny there's Duels of Fate where you can fight you know Sith Lords like Count Dooku and even Darth Vader. You can embark in some pod racing because everybody loves that and that's their favorite part of Star Wars. You can take on the role of a rampaging rancor and destroy a city which is incredibly fun or you can let your hair down at one of the various nightclubs around the galaxy and dance the night away as characters like Han Solo or Boba Fett. Obviously, the more diehard fans of the Star Wars franchise are a little upset seeing their heroes like Boba Fett and Han Solo doing a nice little jig on the dance floor. And while it does boggle the mind how anyone could have thought, hey, that sounds like a good idea, it's honestly quite hilarious to me. And despite the fact that people want to pull their hair out at the sight of seeing Han Solo doing all this sexy dancing, the dancing actually works pretty good. It works just like you would expect uh, Dance Central or other dance types games to work on the Kinect. In terms of the other gameplay modes, the Rancor Rampage works great. Uh, it's a little awkward trying to make the Rancor walk forward and stuff like that, but the throwing stuff works okay as well as any Kinect sort of minigame does. The pod racing stuff works well too, but it's really hard for me to hold my arms out for as long as they need to be like held straight out without really hurting my shoulders. When it comes to the Jedi Destiny stuff, it's pretty fluid. You know, you swing your lightsaber around, you cut a bunch of robots and Trandoshans to pieces, and it works out pretty well. You don't have to do a whole lot of movement in the game, but when you do, it can be kind of awkward. There's some platformy bits that are kind of annoying and you kind of have to lean around and stuff. The force push and pull and all that stuff works really well, but it's kind of hard to figure out where your point of aim is at the screen. You just kind of have to wiggle your arm until you highlight the thing you actually want to move. In terms of the actual lightsaber battles that you will have with a one-on-one -on -one opponent, it seems like that that would be really cool, except I think because of the limitations of the hardware of the Kinect, or maybe just to make it not impossible, they slow it down really, really slow. So your opponents will very obviously be striking at your left side or your right side or from above or from below, and you very clearly know where to deflect, and then you'll do that a couple of times, and then you'll get a chance to swing at him, you know, flail your arms about and, you know, cut away at his health. And honestly, the lightsaber battles are, feel like the weakest portion of the game. Just running around cutting dudes apart feels a lot more fun. You can't really compare this game to any of the other Star Wars games like Force Unleashed or League of Star Wars because it's a Kinect game. And compared to the other Kinect games I've played, this is actually on the higher end of Kinect titles, but that's because most Kinect titles are shovelware crap. It's not quite as good as Gunstringer for the Kinect, but it's still a lot of fun to play by yourself or especially with friends, 
or in my case, uh, out of work actors that you conned into showing up to play the video game so that you can film them for some silly review you do on YouTube. So as a game, it's kind of fun, at least in terms of a Kinect game, you go, woo, waggle my arms, woo, look at me, I'm waggling my arms, I'm a Jedi, but if you're one of these, like, like idiots that like has like, I don't know, like a Star Wars shirt, plus a, a full-size Chewbacca costume, plus like a bunch of uh, commemorative like uh, cheap plastic things you bought at Disneyland to hold popcorn, you know, <laughs> that's shaped like R2-D2, like one of those nerds? <laughs> God. Uh, then maybe you'll be frustrated by some of the directions that this game has taken. Uh, but if you're looking for a Kinect game that's, you know, better than most of the shovelware out there, pick this one up, because there aren't a whole lot of Kinect games that come out that are any good, and this one's pretty good.